Aloha YouTube. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. In this video, we are going to look at a dividend company that Warren Buffett continues to purchase. It is a company that in, is in the oil and gas industry and many analysis have been rating this company as undervalued. It is forecast uh, for the next 12 months to be 15% uh, upside and hedge funds have increased their shares uh, last quarter. Uh, so if you want to uh, take a look at this video, uh, take a look at this company and see if this is a company that is worthy of your portfolio, uh, do me a favor uh, hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell and as always guys remember that all of this is just for information it is not financial advice this is just me sharing um, without any more delays let's take a look at this company so the company that I'm talking about is Occidental Petroleum, uh, Petroleum. the ticker symbol is OXY uh, it is a company that engages in development of oil and gas in the U.S., Middle East, North Africa, and Latin America. So, uh, if you want to learn more, a little bit more about this company, definitely go check on their website. Uh, you can see a little bit more. Uh, one, one of the things that it was interesting that I figured out of this here is that it's been, been in the business for almost 100 years. So, that's pretty interesting my opinion so uh definitely go check it out uh let's go take a look at simply safe dividend based on their dividend safety score they rate this company as 60 which is borderline safe uh, if you look at the dividend yield is 1.47 and then you can see the market cap is about 52 billion which is a large uh, large cap going through the key metrics you can see payout ratio is 15 percent which is low for oil producers and then you got your forward payout ratio of 19 uh, during the recession they've increased it and although the dividend streak is only one year without a reduction so um and then looking at the dividend growth last 20 years very slow last five years negative 30 and then the latest is 22 percent so um payout ratio dividend dividend streak of one year and one year without a reduction and then if you're going to get if you do decide on uh, purchasing this company, uh, you're going to go get paid quarterly in the months of January, April, July, and October. And then your annual payout would be 88 per share. Ex dividend date is December 7. Uh, based on the frequency, you're going to get paid like 18, uh, 18 cents per quarter. So um, if you look down, you can see based on simply say dividend, they rate it as undervalued. Uh, you can see right here a little bit more dividend yield for payout ratio 52 week range is in between close to the low which is in my opinion a good value you can see the high over there and then you got your payout ratio of 13 versus the energy of 11. looking more of the financials you can see uh, a little bit here you can see earnings per share sales growth uh, outstanding sales in millions total sales in billions return on investment capital which is 13 percent return on equity which is 19 percent if you look at the 22 right there look at that 53 percent 22 and 24 percent uh, now if we switch over to chip ranks based on tip ranks so if you look at this right here if you event, uh, invested on this company five years ago you would have been up uh, six percent so uh, now, if you look at the uh, stock smart score, they rated at eight, which is outperform. And then you got your consensus of modern buy. Hedge funds have increased their shares. And there's also insider trading, which um, they bought shares. Um, then if you look at the 10 year performance, uh, you can see it's negative two, uh, negative eight. So now if we swing over to more for analysis forecast, they rated as a modern buy, six buy, nine holds and one sell. Uh, 12 month forecast rated at 50 percent upside which is uh, going to about 68 um, and then you got your high of 82 
68 is your price target and then 59 would be your lowest price target now if you look down over here you can see some of the analysis forecasts right there some of them uh downgrade only downside of one percent but some of them go as high as like 30 percent you can see right here 37 percent upside 30 percent upside 22 percent upside so you can see another 30 percent another 23 23 percent so um that's that's tip ranks now let's move over to seeking alpha as you can see for the dividend score you can see right here dividend safety of the b and dividend yield is a b now looking at the dividend uh, summary you can see payout ratio is 14 five year growth is negative 25 and then your dividend growth to two years annual payout is zero, 0 0.72 you see this dividend yield is right there and then you got your uh, dividend de uh, declared de record x dividend date uh, now a little bit more information dividend yield so if you look at one of the things I like about Seeking Alpha is you can see some of the dividend uh, estimates you can see right here, which gives you a kind of like a estimate of what's going to happen. So 2024, so in 2023, it was 26 and uh, 68, I mean, and then it, uh, 2024 brings it to 80. And then you can see in 2025, it's 84. And then the rating of this is a uh, uh, buy and, and a hold for all these things. So you can see right there. Now moving along to simply Wall Street, based on their share price and fair value, you can see um, they're currently at the time of this video is at 60. Their fair value right now is about 72, which they kind of calculate about 16% undervalued. Uh, now if we go over to Yahoo Finance, you can see there uh, what Yahoo Finance wrote. Uh, there was an article. Uh, on December 22, it just basically talks about how Warren Buffett has been increasing their shares. Uh, you can see right here, uh, it took place on December 21, 2023. Buffett Holdings Company about 2% of bringing the share to about this a month. Purchase about 60. And now with this move, the position is now 4% of the portfolio is 22, uh, 27%. Um, now if we look over here, uh, you can see the holdings um apple which is holding 50 percent of it so that's uh i did a video about this uh a uh, couple days ago so definitely go check that out uh the link is up there as you can see um you can see right here some of the holdings that warren buffett has uh which is right here so you can see oxy right there so uh definitely go check this out and read about it Moving along now to NASDAQ based on their analysis. So 20 of them announced, I believe it's, a, it's still as a buy. You can see some of the uh, firms that recommend that you can see Wells Fargo, you can see Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. So um, now looking down, you can see also 12 month forecast, which is pretty similar, 82, 68, and then 59. And then switching on over to Stock Rover, uh, based on their analysis also, they rate it as a buy. And then you can see the price target, which is similar. The high of 82 and the low of 59. And then you got your 70 right here and then 59. Uh, switching over now to bar chart and based on bar charts analysis, they also rate it as a moderate buy. You can see right here, three months have been a moderate buy, uh, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Now moving along to Alpha Smart, and based on their interesting value, they rated as undervalued. You got 13%. And then moving along to some of the uh, valuation history, you can see some of the uh, historic profits, current evaluation, uh, price value correlation, and you got your fundamentals over here. Financials, you got your revenue. So 10 year revenue has increased 20% over the last 10 years. Operating income has increased for the last 10 years. You can see a little bit more. Uh, and then the balance sheet right here, you can see uh, assets is uh, 71, liabilities is 42. Then you got your cash flow and investments and all those. All right, so my take on this one, I think it's a solid company. Uh, I think Warren Buffett 
knows what he do he's doing. He has a proven track record of great getting uh, great companies at a discount. And I feel like this is one of those companies that, in my opinion, um, if he's doing it, he probably sees something that uh, is of great value. So I'm definitely um, buying uh, positions in this company, uh, just dollar costing average as we go. Um, so with that said, uh, definitely go check out the other videos as well. If you want to learn about other dividend companies that I uh, made videos of it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, if you haven't done so, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, stay cool. Keep investing. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Right, Take care. Aloha.